Last year, China's military leadership underwent seismic shifts, leading many on the world stage to wonder if there are deep-rooted issues plaguing the nation's defense forces. Some of these questions were fueled by widespread corruption allegations, over a dozen senior staff officers being let go from their high-ranking positions, and even some suspicious unexplained deaths among the top brass. But while many nations were recently growing concerned over President Xi Jinping's aspirations for invading Taiwan, a bombshell report from Bloomberg has many rethinking China's capability of taking over the populated island. The new details released at the beginning of this year claims Chinese intercontinental ballistic missiles ICBMs, are inoperable, with some allegedly being filled with water instead of propellant. Could these concerns about China's nuclear deterrent readiness be what's been causing trouble for high-ranking officials? Or would this unprecedented purge of China's military be a symptom of the inadequate system? Before examining these latest remarkable claims in detail, let's first learn more about the Chinese People's Liberation Army and what's become known as China's nuclear deterrent triad. The People's Liberation Army, or PLA, is the armed wing of the Chinese Communist Party and the military force of the People's Republic of China, with over 2,035,000 active personnel split among five service branches – the Ground Force, Navy, Air Force, Rocket Force, and Strategic Support Force. China's military is the largest in the world. But it's been described as massive but sluggish by experts. Sheer size can't compensate for technological advancements, as we've seen recently with the Russo-Ukrainian conflict. The People's Liberation Army Rocket Force PLARF, is the main strategic missile force of the PLA and consists of at least 120,000 personnel. The ARF branch is arguably Xi's favorite, considering the amount of money and manpower put into the branch. It's responsible for controlling nuclear and conventional strategic missiles, and intelligence says it's rapidly expanding. This has caught the eye of many global leaders on the world stage because the ARF ballistic anti-ship missiles are the foundation for China's advanced nuclear counterattack capabilities and their Anti-Access Area Denial or A2AD, system. China is attempting to modernize. How is it faring? United States policymakers and intelligence officials alike have all been historically frustrated and surprised by announcements coming from President Xi and his inner circle. One of the more recent announcements, that Xi has devoted billions of dollars to his aim of transforming the military into a modern force, is among one of many new surprises. One report notes that Xi has specifically pumped billions into buying and developing equipment to build this world-class military by 2050, with Beijing's defense budget growing faster than its economic capacity. With rising global tensions, this decision could end up crippling the machine that made China so wealthy. The crown jewel? The People's Liberation Army Rocket Force, or ARF, an organization that manages conventional and nuclear missiles. But not everything surrounding the ARF has gone to plan. Many details regarding China's missiles and their nuclear strategies remain unconfirmed by open sources, likely for their own national security reasons. But there are some important facts publicly known about what type of weaponry and capabilities the ARF could have access to. China is known to have deployed road mobile ICBMs as part of its nuclear deterrent triad, along with silo-based and submarine-launched capabilities. This nuclear deterrent triad is one that analysts have been trying to better understand and has many on the global stage fearing what a war with China would look like. America has been interested in learning more about each arm of the triad, but more recently the silo-based and road mobile ballistic missile capabilities have been of particular interest. To learn more about these bases, American intelligence officers have started to look to the skies using satellites to learn more. Satellite imagery analysis has identified certain areas in remote western regions of China as potential operating areas for road mobile ICBM units. Each base is given a single identifier, a number from 61 through 67. It's reported that Base 67 serves as the PRC's central nuclear weapons storage facility. The 67th base is located in Baoji City, Shaanxi Province. There are eyes in the sky covering the base, watching for trucks coming in and out and plotting construction transformations over time. More recently, with ARF monetary expansions, analysts are continuing to assess what's changing in the military landscape. Notably, there's a city called Hami, which is located in Xinjiang, in northwestern China. Some analysts have speculated that this general area could potentially host deployment locations or facilities related to China's road mobile ICBM forces. To that end, satellite images shared by the Federation of American Scientists FAS, point to the likelihood of a missile silo field in Hami's deserts. 
Specifically, there's a 250-foot by 180-foot structure that's been seen from above on July 25, 2021, and matches a similar blueprint to a known missile training site photographed in Jilantai that same year. However, there isn't definitive publicly available information specifically confirming the existence of a major missile field or operating base for ICBMs near Hami, and other experts warn that some of the silos seen by our defense satellites are likely to never be filled with real missiles, but with decoys. Now let's get to the elephant in the room, China's nuclear strategy and no-first-use policy. While this may seem alarming, it's important to note that China's official nuclear policy is described as a self-defensive nuclear strategy, and that historically, China has stored their nuclear warheads separately from their missile launching systems, unless there is a heightened level of threat. Their policies would indicate that they're not rushing to pull the trigger on a nuclear war. In 1992, China ratified the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty, making it one of five states pledging to not use nuclear weapons as the go-to first weapon under any circumstances. China has pledged to what they call No First Use NFU, meaning they say they will never launch nuclear weapons against any nuclear or non-nuclear nation and to only use them in retaliation if attacked by nuclear weapons. The People's Liberation Army also pledges to deter other adversary countries from leaning toward nuclear options in wartime. This is known as minimum deterrence. China also publicly opposed engaging in a nuclear arms race, and they've even called for a complete prohibition and the thorough destruction of global nuclear weapons. In practice, this translates to the People's Liberation Army maintaining a modest, agile, and diversified nuclear triad. The fact of the matter is that intelligence indicates China's nuclear arsenal remains relatively small compared to what the US and Russia have, which is why China's scarcity, mobility, concealment, and advanced nuclear counterattack capabilities are much higher on America's radar than the bombs themselves. Estimates vary, but intelligence sources indicate that China's total nuclear warhead stockpile is believed to be in the low hundreds. But even with these outwardly ethical practices and self-defense policies, it's no wonder other leaders on the global stage have recently felt heightened fears about wars between China and Taiwan when so little is known about their nuclear triad of road, silo, and submarine launchers. Some of those fears and unanswered questions grew as President Xi's corruption purge at the end of 2023 took place. Here's what happened. More than a decade ago, Xi Jinping set out to clean up his once-corrupt military, a probe into the recent sweeping military purge indicates that there have been efforts to ensnare more than a dozen senior officials in the last six months of 2023. These details indicate that this was China's largest crackdown on the country's military in modern history. The most recent purge came just before the new year. In the last week of December, China's top legislative body unseated nine defense figures, including five top brass members linked to the missile force. Two others were with the Equipment Development Department, which is charged with arming the military. Not even a week before that, China's main political advisory board removed three executives from missile manufacturers. Back in March of 2023, PLA Rocket Force Commander Wei Feng publicly resigned from his post. This was a planned departure following a regular duration of his tour, but strangely, he's not been seen publicly since. He wasn't the only official to vanish. Washington Post reporters noted that Chinese Defense Minister Li Shangfu was last seen in August of 2023 with authorities. He was meeting with higher-ups, while US officials said he was about to be removed from his post. Following the meeting, Li Shangfu hasn't made a public appearance, and on paper, he's been relieved of his duties. On the same day, Dong Jun, a Chinese ex-Navy chief with a South China Sea background, was named Li's replacement as Defense Minister. A month before that, in July of 2023, former Foreign Minister Ching Gang was outed from his post in the military, even as he remained absent for over a month. What's even more alarming, Chin was last seen in public on June 25th, seen walking side by side with Russian Deputy Foreign Minister Andrei Rudenko, who flew into Beijing to meet with officials. Chin was supposed to meet with EU officials in July, but China suddenly cancelled the talks without explanation. The Chinese military's official newspaper pledged on the first of this year to wage a war on the graft, signaling that more purges could be on the horizon. The purge totals 22 high-profile officials being stripped of their ranks or going missing altogether. What's more alarming, American officials argue, is that these are just the removals and disappearances that Beijing has made public. They point out that the military doesn't typically announce removals or internal investigations, so these public comments and leaked information have raised eyebrows it's even started to gain traction online. 
News of Li Shangfu's disappearance got traction on X thanks to a tweet from Ram Emanuel, the US ambassador to Japan. Emmanuel tweeted, President Xi's cabinet lineup is now resembling Agatha Christie's novel and then there were none. First, Foreign Minister Qing Gang goes missing, then Rocket Force commanders go missing, and now Defense Minister Li Shang Fu hasn't been seen in public for two weeks. Who's going to win this unemployment race? China's youth or Xi's cabinet? Some US officials have worried that this purge is indicative of an ideology shift in China's defense and military strategy, but after the Bloomberg report from January of 2024, the newfound intelligence indicates that we may have nothing to worry about. Not even a week into the new year, Bloomberg's investigative journalists uncovered information from US intelligence which states that President Xi's military purge is a direct result of the widespread corruption attempting to undermine his efforts of modernizing the armed forces. Much of this corruption is said to be so concentrated inside the ARF that American officials now believe President Xi is less likely to initiate military action in the coming years. This is major news, considering the world has been holding its breath to see what would happen between China and Taiwan. According to the groundbreaking Bloomberg article, there are allegations that some of China's ICBMs were filled with water instead of actual rocket propellants, but the outlet did not say what sort of missiles have been filled with water or how they came to know that fact. Analysts have taken issue with this claim, noting that even if US intelligence reportedly detected issues with several of China's missiles during transportation and handling, they were likely dealing with their liquid-fueled road mobile DF-41 ICBM. Even if the intelligence reported that the missiles appear to have been compromised, filled with engineered materials rather than functional rocket fuel, this would simply render the missiles ineffective. In other words, if China was using water as fuel for their missiles, it would be self-sabotaging and destroying the artillery. These defective ICBMs set off alarms within US intelligence about potential quality control problems in China's nuclear forces. The issues are alleged to have prompted the internal purge by Xi, targeting people he must have deemed responsible for the flawed weapons. If this is true, it could undermine China's claims of having an advanced and reliable nuclear deterrent capable of threatening the US homeland. However, the specifics remain classified US intelligence, and China has dismissed such reports as disinformation aimed at maligning its military capabilities. While the Bloomberg's article's claims are explosive if accurate, the article notes they are based on unnamed intelligence sources. The Bloomberg report also did not specify the exact site where the missile silo doors reportedly malfunctioned. China has officially denied the allegations as false propaganda intended to denigrate its military and strategic programs. But how are folks reacting to all of this? America's relationship with China and their growing military has always been a hot-button issue, so it's no wonder experts have been asked to comment on the developing situation. When the original Bloomberg story ran, spokespeople for the White House National Security Council didn't immediately comment. When asked about the US intelligence, Lt. Col. Martin Miners, a Pentagon spokesman, said the Department of Defense's annual China report discusses Xi's efforts to strengthen and accelerate anti-corruption investigations. They didn't provide additional details. Stephen Bryan, who served as a staff director of the Northeast Subcommittee of the U.S. Senate Foreign Relations Committee and as a deputy undersecretary of defense, was skeptical about the theory of using water to replace fuel. For an op-ed article posted on January 9, 2024, for the Asia Times, Bryan said that the idea that water is substituted for fuel is preposterous. Corrosion-prone rockets are kept empty until needed. Articles about the ICBM DF-5B seem to back up Bryan's comments. The corrosive and hazardous nature of the liquid fuel means the missiles are often sitting with empty tanks and are fueled just before launch. Reports even note that if a missile has been filled with fuel ahead of a launch, but the mission is scrubbed, the missile has to have the fuel emptied immediately and have its tanks cleansed with valves and seals replaced. Brian also claims that the intelligence, originally cited by Bloomberg, leads to more major questions than substantial answers, noting that from his background experience, President Xi is trying to cover up something else. Brian believes that water in missiles and silo lids that don't close are smoke and mirrors and that our US intelligence should be really focusing on the generals and ministers being purged from the Chinese military. He asks would President Xi really reach as far down into the military ranks as he has unless there's a more serious reason. Alfred Wu, an associate professor at the Lee Kuan Yew School of Public Policy in Singapore, agrees, telling Reuters that analysts should look at the evidence of internal corruption over equipment procurement by the PLA Rocket Force. More heads will roll, Wu said. The purge that centered around the Rocket Force is not over. Yun Sun, the director of the China program at the Stimson Center, a Washington, D.C.-based think tank, believes this purge could leave the ARF temporarily weakened. 
No one with that type of power wants to feel backed into a corner or humiliated on the world stage. The strategic nuclear force is what China relies on as the bottom line of its national security and the last resort on Taiwan, said Sun. It will take some time for China to clean up the mess and restore confidence in the rocket force's competence and trustworthiness. It means for the time being, China is at a weaker spot. Online sleuths seem to have their own theories about what this could all mean. One Redditor suggested that saying the missiles were filled with water is actually a translation error, since in Chinese the word pumping water and exaggerate share the same writing. Similarly, a YouTube commenter shared that Guan Shui literally translates to fill water as a blanket Chinese slang term used to describe replacing any material with cheaper, substandard material to increase profit margin. This would again explain why water was specifically brought up in the US intelligence. Another Redditor said that they believe it's possible the top brass who were fired from the ranks had their titles stripped as a result of not being able to procure enough fuel. However, speculation about what happened to the Chinese generals who have been purged has spread like wildfire, with many people speculating that these individuals may not be alive anymore, citing the PLA's emphasis on staying vigilant against graft, citing a battle against corruption in their New Year's Day statement. Developing US intelligence argues that China's ongoing military purge has stemmed from serious equipment issues. These issues, put on blast for the global stage, show Xi's army and the rocket force as China's main nuclear arm, as weak and incapable of carrying out attacks, like the very attacks many fear against Taiwan. To that end, many point to the recent downfall of generals, top brass disappearances, and internal affair investigations as to the real problem, raising questions about whether there's been proper oversight into these massive military investments. These problems will likely dissuade China from risking any military clashes in the near term. But what do you think about China's military modernization? Is China really upgrading, or is it all just numbers and show? Let us know in the comments. Now go and check out why China's man-made military islands are a disaster, or click this other video instead. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more great military content.